Hey players, this is Freyza. Today I'm going to show you how to make a gun using Roblox and Roblox Lua. Um, so first I'm Roblox Studio in build mode and I have Explorer properties and output open already. We're going to be using tools.activated and local scripts for this tutorial um, as well as our mouse and um, stuff like that. So um, I'm going to click on my backpack and then insert basic objects and then tool and double click to insert that and then part and then insert part into our tool don't open up it just yet and um, rename your part to handle and now it will work with a tool so if you equip it there you'll see that it does not fall to the ground whereas um, it may have been put changed but um, basically the first uh, part in your tool should be named handle um, so it will work do not know why I'm going to make the size a little bit smaller, although it doesn't matter because I'm going to give it a mesh. So view toolbox and then pistol. Oh, this looks like a good mesh. Assuming it is a mesh. A lot of people have put together these crafty well the guns, I don't know, yeah. I have no idea how they make them, but damn. I swear there must be some welding secret that I don't know about for easy welding. Um, any gun will do, just a simple mesh, please. Okay, and I have a pretty good mesh here, so I'm going to put this here. And uh, increase the size a little bit and it's facing the wrong direction so I'm going to equip it and then change the grip forward until it faces the right direction and then I'm going to reposition a bit changing the grip plus uh, ok not there 2.5 wrong way yeah that's fine ok so now it's um, fairly well positioned and I'm going to rename this gun or pistol and I'm going to insert a local script into the tool itself so local script and double click now first of all player equals game dot player is dot local player which will get our uh, local player from players which can only be done with local scripts which is another reason to use local scripts in this situation although there are limitations as everything needs to be local um, within you um, and created by the script so as it has its limitations so uh, be careful when you use local scripts and such now function shoot end and now this is where um, dot .activated comes into play it uh, is in relation to tool and uh, is fired when the player clicks while the tool is equipped so it applies to the tool itself I'm going to put tool equals script.parent and then no actually gun equals script.parent and gun dot activated connect the function shoot and there we go so it's not when the handle activates it's when the tool itself activates which in this case I have tagged as gun and now I am going to insert a part um, so actually I'm going to put ammo first so let's say ammo equals 5 and then if ammo is greater than zero. End. And then, okay, bullet equals instance dot new part workspace. Bullet dot shape equals ball. Bullet dot size equals vector three dot new 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 
bullet dot form factor equals smooth. No wait, that's oh, sorry. Eh, it's top surface and bottom surface. The form factor doesn't matter in this. Um, smooth bullet dot bottom surface equals smooth bullet dot brick killer equals uh, um, brick color dot new you can use a mesh for your bullets and all that but um, I am just going to make it a dark stone grey bullet color and uh, design it to look kind of like a bullet without using a mesh Keep it Roblox style. And uh, anything else that no yeah that's fine. Oh yeah, bullet dot can collide equals false. And now on to the physics. Um, B equals instance dot new body velocity. And I am going to parent that to bullet. V dot velocity. Well, uh, first before that, we should see frame the bullet. So, um, bullet dot C frame equals piss no gun dot handle dot C frame times C frame dot. Uh, actually, that's fine. I won't bother adjusting. It's not can collide anyway, so it shouldn't cause any problems. And then again, uh, no, then afterwards, bullet dot c frame equals c frame dot new. And this is going to have two arguments instead of three, and it's going to be very peculiar. And these arguments are going to be bullet dot position and mouse dot hits dot p. Um, oh, wait, we need to get our mouse first, and then I'll explain what this does. Mouse equals player get mouse. Now what this line does is uh, it uh, adjusts the C frame to our bullet position, and then adjusts the angle of the bullet to the, where our mouse is facing. And since we got our mouse up here, um, this will adjust the um, what's the word for it? The um, Ah, well, I can't think of the word, but um, this will adjust the way the bullet is going to move um, to where the mouse is, basically. With mouse.hits.p lowercase. And what we can do here is just make it shoot forward now that it is facing where our mouse is, as per usual. Equals bullet.cframe.look vector times 90. And v. Dot Max force equals vector three dot new math dot huge math dot huge math dot huge and I'm going to insert bullet to debris after a second so game dot debris add item bullet and uh, what's a good time two seconds there we go. So our bullet shoots forward and vanishes after two seconds on its own accord. Um, now let's test this. Oh, it worked first time round. Although the bullet's a little bit too big, so I'd like to make that smaller, if possible. No, oh, that's weird. I thought it'd be smaller. Oh. Well. Um, I'm actually going to insert a mesh there. Uh, so BM equals instance dot new special mesh and bullet BM dot mesh type equals sphere BM dot scale equals vector three dot new zero point 
Yeah, seems a bit right. And I also want the bullet to make a sound, so I am going to look up fire sounds. And now I'm going to get a flamethrower noise or something. What is with I keep finding these um, gender morphs in the models whenever I. That's annoying. Okay. Most taken, Jesus. <laughs> that doesn't say much with the community. Um, sound effects. Epic firing sound, that's good. Sounds legit. I'm going to put this in here now. For now. And. Fire sound equals instance dot new sounds parent it to oops parenting it to bullet and fire sounds dot sound id equals m to put emphasis and I'm going to copy the sound id into the sound id and fire sounds dot Pitch equals 0 0.7, fire sounds dot volume equals 0 0.8, but I'm going to change that actually. I want it to be kind of random, otherwise, it's going to be repetitive. So, um, RP equals math dot random, uh, 80. RP equals RP divided by 10 and this will be RP. So what this will do is it will pick a random number between 60 and 80 then divide it by 10 so let's say it's uh, 70 that will be 0 0.7 and the pitch will be that so it allows us to like um, give it a random variance to the um, um, so that it's not always the same and I'm going to do the same for sounds, I mean the volume so RV equals math dot random and this is up one so 70 90 and rv equals rv divided by 10 and this will equal rv and then fire sound play game dot dead piece add item fire sound 1 not like it matters. Um, well, uh, maybe a uh, maybe as long. I hope not, though. But who knows? Um, now let's see if this actually works. I can delete this now. Just in case you can't hear that, I'll put the headphones up a little. Yeah, that works fine. Although it sounds like it's got a silencer, but uh, who cares. Now for effects, what I'm going to do is uh, make the gun go forward a little when I shoot. So let's see. Uh, what way is forward again? Yeah. 0 0.5. Okay. So... Gun dot grip plus, and what am I just doing? Yeah, uh, the Y of okay. Dot Y equals. Uh, no, I wouldn't randomize it. Was minus zero point three five, and then I am going to make it back to normal at the end of this equals minus 0 0.6 and I'm going to put a weight here and enabled equals uh, true and enabled is equal to true then enabled equals false ammo equals ammo minus one I'm actually gonna put uh, greater than equal to one because I like it better uh, it's the same thing as greater than zero but it just looks a little better in my opinion 
and then after that I can put enabled equals true because now that there's a, a delay here we don't want it to be spammed well uh, it's moving the grip position around. I'm actually going to put a weight here too, just to solidify that. Um, yeah, that's uh, good. Oh, print ammo too. Print, you have ammo, ammo left. This won't actually say anything to the player, but it will print it down here, so you can put that in GUI or something. Why cannot be assigned to? Okay. That was my bad. Oh, it's a vector free. I'm an idiot. I knew something was wrong when I was writing it. It's, yeah, that's it. Out of touch I am uh, with get pause. Like, well, vector free dot new, and then. No, wait. Equals gun dot. Yeah, no, actually, I'll just uh, yeah, I'll just do it this way. Vector three dot new, and uh, I have it at zero, and then zero point four for the last, minus zero point four for the last axis, and I've got low disk space, so I better hurry and finish this. It's like a race. Um, okay, and it's back to normal, so minus zero point six. Zero point six. And we're out of ammo. Uh, what you could also do is um, you could um, make another fun custom function um, called firing. Put all of this inside the firing function, and then just make the f the shoot function activate the fire function. Then put a while wait do loop or a repeat until loop until um, is firing is equal to false. As firing would be a variable. And then you could uh, make gun dot deactivated connect stop firing and then change is firing to false, meaning that so when the guns uh, when your mouse is released, um, it will stop firing the gun. Um. And also you could use a uh, button pressing to make R reload the ammo, and maybe some GUI work to show how many ammo the player has left. Um, but yeah, leave that to your own devices. So thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please drop me a like and uh, um, feel free to comment and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. Goodbye, players.